What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here and in this one we got some spring practice intel on Michigan football on the offense and the defense as well as Donovan Edwards and Rashawn Benny. We give an update on him and his leg injury that he had in the Rose Bowl. Plus, Michigan has hired a new defensive analyst with coordinator experience. We also got some huge recruiting news. Michigan got two predictions in to land two 2025 top recruiting targets, plus a couple of offensive linemen talk about their visit to Michigan in the nation's number one running back in the 2026 class. Very high on Michigan. It's all going to be in this video and more, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first thing I wanted to talk about to start this video is some spring practice intel for Michigan football. Because obviously we are just a few weeks away from the spring game. But uh, according to Sam Webb of the Michigan Insider, he says the defense has been flat out dominant. And last weekend's practice is the only one he's heard that the offense has won. Now we kind of talked about that in our last video, how dominant the defense has been. As they have been giving the Michigan offense uh, some fits, the starting defensive line has been uh, unblockable and we talked about you know the new defensive coordinator wink martindale is he dials up you know his own styles of pressure but obviously michigan you know they're also trying to find the best five starting offensive linemen still and what a way to find your five starting offensive linemen uh, while they're going up against maybe one of the best if not the best defensive line group in college football so according to sam webb there's been a lot of shuffling on the offensive line in an effort to find the best five players and also donovan edwards his snaps are being limited which obviously you know makes sense he's going to be one of the best players on the offensive side he's going to be your starting running back so uh, we also got news on rashawn benny according to chris ballas of the wolverine he said that he's been spotted doing some physical therapy and a bit of running on the leg he hurt in the road Bowl and just you know been working that leg out so that's some good news there is he you know just trying to get in the swing of things and getting that leg that he hurt in the rose bowl right he should be a key piece on the defensive line a good uh, rotational piece as i uh, you know michigan especially last year they really like to rotate guys and they definitely have the talent to do so but now the next thing i wanted to talk about is a new defensive analyst as michigan has hired lionel stokes as a defensive analyst now it came out uh, on march 13th when matt zenit of 24 7 sports said that michigan is expected to hire lionel stokes as a defensive analyst and now he is officially hired as a defensive analyst here at michigan now he did work at Louisiana with new Michigan defensive backs coach Lamar Morgan. He was also a defensive coordinator at Jackson State and a defensive backs coach at Jackson and Nichols. So he does have experience, which I kind of like these, you know, analyst hires because, you know, they could be up and coming coaches. And if Michigan loses, you know, assistant coaches, they could be uh, hired, you know, or promoted within the program uh, later in their futures. So always good to have connections with up and coming coaches on the rise. Also wanted to show you guys a picture of Brad Hawkins as he is back in Ann Arbor as a graduate assistant. We did talk about this news uh, before, so uh, pretty cool there as the former Michigan defensive back back in Ann Arbor as a graduate assistant. Now we do have some big recruiting news actually as Michigan has gotten a couple of predictions going in their favor. The first one is the 2025 four-star cornerback Dwayne Galloway from Marion Franklin High School in Columbus, Ohio, ranked 96 nationally on 24-7 sports composite rankings and Alan Trio of 24-7 sports just put in a prediction yesterday for Michigan to land him a crystal ball prediction, which is very good news. Uh, so far in the 2025 class, he is 9 for 9 with his predictions. So some very good news there. Michigan has been going after him for a while. A top defensive back target for Michigan. Now he is set to visit Michigan on April 18th. It will be his first time meeting new cornerbacks coach Lamar Morgan and potentially we could see a commitment coming for him while he's on his visit. So I'm sure Michigan will be looking to close. Now there's others like Penn State, Purdue, Kentucky, and Syracuse who are also 
high on his list but some good news there michigan has not gotten a crystal ball prediction in quite some time now but finally we get one and another prediction that was put in was by on threes chad simmons as he has logged an expert prediction for michigan to land the four-star wide receiver taz williams jr now he does have a visit to michigan on sunday but according to chad simmons he said that it Michigan continues to set the pace in his recruitment, has a great relationship with Ron Bellamy and Sharon Moore as well, and the re relationships are strong. He has family in the Midwest, and he likes where Michigan sits. He is from Red Oak High School in the state of Texas. That's where he's playing high school ball right now, and uh, he is ranked 266th nationally on 24-7 sports composite rankings in the 2025 class. I did want to continue talking about some other recruiting news, though, and the number one running back in the 2026 class the five-star running back Savian Hyder ranked 10th nationally on 24 7 sports composite rankings it was the Woodbury Forest High School in the state of Virginia. Now, Michigan recently just offered him a scholarship last week as he told DJ Holland of the Wolverine that he was looking for one for a while. I did say I know they have really good academics there. That's what I'm looking for. I want to better myself mentally. Also talking about Tony Elford. He said Coach Elford is great. We had a great bond at Ohio State. I'm glad he moved over to Michigan. He said he doesn't BS about anything. I just really like him. He also talked about Blake Horm and Donovan Edwards. They are a dynamic duo i was very impressed with them in the national championship win now he does want to come in for a visit in april check out the spring practices and everything he said i'm just looking forward to seeing a high-paced practice and he's just excited to uh, take a first ever visit to michigan and see everything there and learn more so michigan standing in a good position for the number one running back in the 2026 class and a couple of offensive line targets that we have talked about uh, that took a visit to Michigan over the weekend. First one was Hardy Watt. He's the 2025 four-star offensive lineman, ranked 265th nationally on 24-7 sports composite ranking. Seems Michigan is in a great position with him, but uh, he told AJ Howland of the Wolverine that the visit was great. I had a great time meeting all of the staff. He said it was amazing. The players stood out. And talking about Sharon Moore, he said, I've seen so much online about how much of a great man he is, how much of a true leader he is, and he said that was definitely evident in my meeting with him. He also loved Coach Newsom, who was the new tight ends, or excuse me, uh, offensive line coach for Michigan. He was previously the tight ends coach. He also said they see me as a pure tackle. It was an honor to have Michigan tell me that I have one of the best pass sets in the nation and that I'm a true tackle. It was really humbling. But uh, so yeah, he said that I already knew I was high on Michigan, but this visit only solidified that and bumped them up a few as well. And he said he definitely plans to take an official visit to Michigan and then another offensive lineman in the 2025 class is the four-star Michael Carroll Penn State and Michigan are both really high in this recruitment Michigan has been going after him for a while now and it seems that uh, both him and his family on his recent visit to Michigan over the weekend had a great time and were really impressed in meeting coach Schroeder Moore and the coaches and also watching the Michigan practice they're impressed with how organized it was and how much of a brotherhood it is so some good news there michigan uh, still hosting recruits they're hosting recruits this weekend as well so recruiting starting to take off here hopefully we get a commitment soon it is good news though that we do have predictions in for Dwayne galloway and taz williams jr but uh with that that's gonna wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you guys go ahead drop a like Comment down below and subscribe for more if you are new around here. I greatly appreciate it. But other than that, we will see you guys in the next video. Go Blue.